All right, it's been a while since I've done a video on budget fragrances, and that's exactly what I've got for you here. 16 amazing budget fragrances that you guys might have missed. So it's time for you to find out about these. Although I've spoken about some of them, not all of them, but you're gonna find out all about these amazing budget fragrances coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. It's Sebastian. We're talking about budget fragrances today. Are you a person that wants to save money on fragrances? You buy a lot of budget fragrances because you don't want to spend money on the more luxury niche fragrances. You know, for me, I don't have I don't have an opinion on I do have an opinion, but it doesn't matter for me. Like if I find a budget fragrance that smells great, I'm fine buying it. I don't discriminate, I should say, on fragrances. It doesn't always have to be you know, luxurious fragrances that cost lots of money. These are really inexpensive fragrances. The majority of them are around $50, give or take. Most of them are around 100 ml bottles. Some are smaller and, uh, smaller and things like that. But you'll find fragrances here as low as $20 and as high as uh, somewhere around $50, $60. But really great budget fragrances that I approve of and we're gonna get started right now. We're going to the house of Zara. It's Leather Jardin, this one right here. So as soon as I smelled this one, I instantly ordered a couple more bottles as backup because this is a really great classic style fragrance from Zara. This is my favorite Zara fragrance. It's really a job well done by Joe Malone who created this. It's 90 ml for $40, that's how much I bought it for. And unfortunately, it's not on the USA Zara website currently. I did see it in the EU or the European Zara websites and also the Great Britain website. So those of you guys that are in Europe and the UK and things like that are gonna have an easier time finding this one. But what I like about this one, it's called Leather Jardin, Leather Garden. And it's exactly that. It's kind of on the green side and definitely classic leaning. It's leather, rose, and grapefruit pretty much. Oh man, it smells so good though. Really, really great. I like these kind of fragrances, really do. And uh, Joe Malone did a great job with this one. I know it's, it's classic leaning and some of you might not appreciate these kind of fragrances, but if you do, you really, really gotta get your nose on this one because it's really, really well done. And it smells fantastic. Takes me back to the Shepra years when Shepra fragrances were popular, kind of leaning green and leathery. And of course you've got rose in here as well. Really great fragrance. Zara's Leather Jardin is amazing. I do notice that the bottle has been changed. And this is the bottle I saw on the UK website for Zara. Anyway, Leather Jardin, try and get that one. I think it's really, really great. Moving on to the uh, house of Parfums Grey or Grey. And we've got Cabochard in EDP, this one right here, the 2019 edition. This is 100 ml for $19. This stuff is so amazing. Once again, we've got a classic leaning fragrance here as well, and a fragrance targeted to the ladies, but I find very unisex, if not masculine leaning. This is created by Bernard Chant, one of my favorite, favorite classic perfumers worked at IFF and did a lot of fragrances for Estee Lauder, Aramis, Clinique, and brands like that all under Estee Lauder. To me, this is a leather fragrance that also reminds me of the classic men's Aramis by Aramis. If you like that, you're gonna have to check this one out because it's super, super amazing. This to me, I believe, is also a sheep rub, a kind of leaning green and leathery, and 100 ml, 19 bucks, so good. It's oak moss with aldehydes, leather, galbanum, sage, patchouli, sandalwood, ylang ylang, rose, and jasmine. If you like, again, classic leaning fragrances, you've gotta get your nose on this one. And again, 20 bucks, under 20 bucks, is not gonna break the bank. When you're buying some expensive fragrances and you need to add a little bit more you know, money in the uh, cart for it to make the free shipping, you can add a fragrance like this and awesome stuff. Anyway, Parfums Grey Cabochard in the EDP, the 2019 edition is so, so good. You've got to get your nose on that one if you haven't already. But moving on to this next one, I was buying these for about $45 and it's currently online, not 
very widely available, but you can still find it for around 45 bucks. I believe I paid this not 45, but around 25 or 30 dollars. This is a fragrance from the house of Ajmal. It's Verde or Verde, this one right here. And to me, it's one of the best alternatives to the discontinued Tom Ford Noir Anthracite. And if you can find a bottle, get it. I highly recommend this one. It's really great. And I believe it's discontinued, so you might not have an easy time finding this one. But like I said, I looked online and I still see it selling at some retailers. But it's 100 ml for $45 is what I saw. Galbanum, leather, cedar, sandalwood, black pepper, ginger, bergamot, and jasmine. Really great stuff. I know there was not a lot of fans of Noir Anthracite. There were those that really loved it, and there was those that really hated it. Those of you that are lovers that don't have a bottle, you've got to search this one down because Noir Anthracite's probably around $300, $400 for 100 ml. You can probably find deals, but that's how much I saw recently. And if you can find this for 100 ml, $45, I think it's really, really great. Get it. it definitely uh, deserve uh, to have uh, you know a, a bottle if you like uh, Noir Anthracite. It's a little different, not identical, but still it's definitely a great alternative. So this is Ajmal Verde from the house of Ajmal. Check it out if you don't know it. So this next fragrance is really inexpensive and once again what I was mentioning about Parfum Grey, you can get uh, you know like if you're buying something from FragranceNet because you can find both of these fragrances the, the Cabochard EDP, and also this next one. And you're kind of uh, added some stuff in your cart and you need to make this threshold to get the free shipping. You can do that with this one as well. This is Ben Sherman's signature, this one right here. Now this one, I can't believe how great it is for the price, although it's a 50 ml for $17, but still. Uh, it works out to be about $34 for 100 ml, still very inexpensive. And this is a great take on something that's similar to Tom Ford's Ombre Leather or maybe even Tuscan Leather. It's leather with violet leaves, patchouli and amber, woodsy notes, jasmine, cardamom, ozonic notes and oud. For sure you experience the ozonic notes in here. It's leather but more like a fabric-y leather or suede leather. Very sexy. I find it to be a great, great you know, alternative for Tom Ford's Ombre Leather or Tuscan Leather at a really like a fraction of the price. 50 ml, 17 bucks is really, really inexpensive and it's quite quality. But when I wear this one, I get something creamy, almost like there's a vanillic custard like creaminess in there. Most likely it's coming from the amber or the combination of the amber and the ozonic notes or the violet leaves. But really great, great fragrance for $17. 50 ml, $17. A great fragrance and again if you're a budget shopper or maybe you're buying fragrances and you have a family of fragrance lovers and you don't want to you know waste uh, not waste money but uh, you know spend a lot of money uh, you can always buy fragrances that I recommend here if you like ombre leather you've got to get your nose on Ben Sherman's signature again 50 ml 17 bucks so inexpensive up next we have a fragrance from the house of finery this is I'm a musk this one right here I'm a lover of these minimalistic fragrances and this is definitely exactly that if you like minimalistic fragrances this is it you can also use this to layer with other fragrances to kind of use it as a primer a booster uh, you know to add like a muskiness to fragrances and it's around $30 for a 60 ml get it at sale because it's suggested retails for I believe around $45. But I, I really, really think this is one of the best in this collection of mostly dupe kind of fragrances. Again, this is kind of nondescript. It's a fluffy musk. There's cotton blossom here. There's creamy sandalwood because it's very, very cozy fragrance. And it's also very, very close to the skin. Not a lot of smell there. So there's those of you that might like these kind of fragrances. Some of you can't wear strong fragrances but you want some fragrance this could be perfect for that and again you can also use it as a primer a booster a layering tool you can add it to something vanillic or intensify something more musky and intensify it with making it more musky is what i'm saying but a great scent really wonderful offering and again my favorite from this collection of fragrances by finery this is a brand that's sold at target everything seemed like a dupe to me but I really like this one and I think it's definitely worth having in a collection, especially if you like minimalistic fragrances or use it as a you know layering tool or a booster or something. So this is Finery's I'm a Musk 
Really wonderful offering. So I've got two fragrances here back to back from a house I've never spoken about on the channel. It's a underrated French designer house called Courage, or is it Courage? I've got two fragrances from their Cologne collection, and it's Cologne Imaginaire's collection. And the first one is 2050 Berry Flash, this one right here. So this one to me is 100 ml for 20 bucks. So it's very, very inexpensive. And if you like the idea of these cologne style fragrances, very fresh, uh, I think they're definitely worth having for 20 bucks. I bought all four of them and you know I spent about 80 bucks for four. Two out of the four are really great, which I'm featuring here. The other two might need a little bit more work with to kind of like appreciate what they are but off of a couple of smells and wares, I didn't really care for them. But this berry flash is juniper berries, cypress, figs, vetiver, mandarin, cardamom, cumin, geranium, musk laurel. There's cumin mentioned. I'm not getting a lot of cumin with this one. It's kind of a fruity, metallic, crisp, clean fragrance. The figs fruitiness adds the fruitiness. So there's a berry-like quality in here. It's called berry flash, but there's definitely kind of a crispness aromatic Christmas, especially from the juniper berries. When those come in, they do add this kind of like a crisp metallic touch and you, you have that here. It's very cold, ice cold, but the fruitiness with aromatic touches, some green touches and spices, woods, and of course the musk. I think this is great for 20 bucks. This is Courage 2050 Berry Flash. The next one is Courage 2060 Cedar Pulp. And again, I, I have Four of these, there's four in the collection, I believe, not more than that, and I bought them for around 20 bucks each. There's definitely like a photo in there, as you can see. I don't care for the bottles because they're very reflective, but Cedar Pulp is also 100 ml, 20 bucks, and this one to me is created by Fanny Ball. She does these uh, citrusy fragrances really well, and if you like her style with these uh, fragrances she's done for Costume National and uh, Frederick Mall, the citrus floral citrus fragrances, uh, definitely you got to check this one out for 20 bucks it's worth it it's cedarwood bergamot almonds musk grapefruit lemons mandarin orange basil cumin neroli amber and freesia it's funny that this one also features cumin and once again the cumin is not so strong on me might be sensitive to it again it gets uh, also 100 ml for 20 bucks so it's fairly inexpensive and again both of these are really great i really enjoy them for the price point they're not anything like totally wow but for 100 ml, 20 bucks, totally worth having in a collection, especially if you're a person that likes budget fragrances. And again, 100 ml, 20 bucks is not going to break bank. And these will also make great presents for folks out there who like fragrance, but, uh, you know, uh, are connoisseurs perhaps, but don't, uh, you know, spend a lot of money. But either way, if you want me to do a video, a standalone video on these four fragrances, the Cologne Imaginaires, do let me know. But I recommend the 2050 Berry Flash and the 2060 Cedar Pulp. Moving on to the House of Laura Biagiotti, it's Roma Womo Green Swing, this one right here. So this is a flanker to the original Roma Womo, and you can find this online for about 75 ml for 45 bucks. I bought this earlier this year, or maybe late last year, I can't remember, and I quite like it. It's a kind of an ozonic and pulpy take on, watery ozonic, pulpy take on the original, although I don't find much similarity with the original here with this one. It feels like it's a complete new fragrance, but it's ozonic for sure. And on the green side, as you can see, the bottle is really cool looking green. As you can see the, the name on the front there. So this is Green Swing. It's cedarwood, vetiver, geranium, bergamot, cashmere, which is kind of like a woody musk, cardamom, quince, tonka beans, violet leaves. So the violet leaves do have a bit of an apple, cucumber fruity kind of a presence and they've thrown in the quince to give you a bit of a more you know fruitiness in here but most of it is the muskiness the woods the spi spices and the ozonic touches and things like that so that's what this fragrance is all about i enjoy it it's not like a totally wow fragrance but for what it is 75 ml 45 bucks that's exactly what i paid for this uh as well like around 40 dollars somewhere i think it's totally worth it for those of you that like these kind of fresh ozonic fragrances so this is roma womo 
Green Swing from the house of Laura Biagiotti. Let me know if you've tried these fragrances so far and what your thoughts are on these fragrances. Okay, so I've got two fragrances from the house of L'Herbolario. Those of you that are in Italy would know this house. It basically translates to the, the herbarium. Um, it's like a little pharmacy herbar herbalist or herbarium or kind of a store chain in Italy uh, that has fragrances, 50 ml for about 25 euros. Very inexpensive, but as I was doing my research for this video, I found out that now L'Herbolario has an USA online store. So you can buy the fragrances from there. And this next fragrance I'm going to talk to you about is called basically called Patchouli. It's Patchouli Perfume. Uh, this is it right here, and on that website, the USA website, it's $45.50. So if you like the idea of this really intense, authentic, patchouli, heavy, patchouli, woody, you know, kind of a sort of a chocolatey as well, then you got to get your nose on this one. So it's Java patchouli with vanilla, nougat, white moss, rose, thyme, Iris, lilac, lavender, peony, ilong ilong. For me, it's a very earthy patchouli. You do get some sweetness that comes in from the vanilla and the nougat. There's definitely some light mossiness and faint touches of rose and aromatics as well. And all the flowers that come in, in here, they're not in your face because the patchouli is so potent. You're gonna experience these other notes very faintly but mostly this is about patchouli, you know? It's all about patchouli, in your face patchouli. If you like that idea, check out this one. It's basically called Patchouli by the House of L'Herbolario. Those of you that are in, in Italy, do let me know if you're a fan of those fragrances. And those of you that are here in the States, have you bought anything from the USA website for L'Herbolario? Put a comment down so I can find out. Most of the people know L'Herbolario for a fragrance called Mejares which uh, is very popular. It's kind of like a musk ravageur budget take on a musk ravageur. But this next fragrance, also from L'Herbolario, is one of my favorites. I bought these while I was in Florence uh, in September. This is uh, Argan Oil Perfume. This is it right here. Argan Oil has, like, when you go to their store, they have multiple products from one collection. So this has multiple different products. Unfortunately, on the USA website, all the products are there, but the perfume is not there. It is sold on Amazon, or some, I found it somewhere around $50 for 50 ml. But this is so delicious and gourmand, very, very nutty and, uh, you know, syrupy vanillic. I highly recommend this one if you're into the idea of these nutty fragrances. It has hazelnuts, vanilla, amber, musk, jasmine, lily of the valley, lemons, and bergamot. The lemons, bergamot, lily of the valley are not really strong. For me, this is like a nut paste basically you've chopped up these nuts mixed in vanilla and kind of creamy kind of ambery syrupy notes and you've, you're smelling that essence it's so delicious really really delicious there's definitely like, like a whipped cream creaminess in there as well that i absolutely love i don't know what the argan oil has anything to do with hazelnuts but maybe they create the smell of the argan oil with these uh, ingredients and they have a perfume around it i don't know but it's super delicious and fairly inexpensive here so this is uh, l'herbolario's argan oil perfume again these are very inexpensive in italy if you're visiting italy go to uh, one of their stores and you, you know you, you go crazy with a lot, lot of their fragrances because they're around 25 uh, euros uh, for all the 50 mls and their 100 mls are like 35 or 40 i can't remember so it's a great great uh, underrated not underrated but uh house for inexpensive fragrances. Anyway, check that out if you don't know it. Moving on to the house of Swiss Arabian. This is Shagaf Oud Azraq, this one right here. I've spoken about the original Shagaf Oud, which is kind of like a Lancome Oud, um, I forgot the name right now, but one of the Lancome Oud fragrances, like a kind of a dupe. And here we have something similar to Wajan, but with an with a oud direction. So if you like Wajan from Marley, or even something like Ombre Narguile from Hermes, 
but you like the addition of Oud, you might want to check this one out. This is 100 ml for 35 bucks, so really inexpensive. Features notes of Oud, honey, cinnamon, amber, vanilla, leather, and patchouli. You know that Oud might kind of interfere with some people's appreciation for fragrances like Wajan, because it does get funky a little bit. It is Oud after all, and they also have leather in here, so it does get intense with those notes, but it's covered up plenty with the honey, the cinnamon, the amber and vanilla notes to make it, you know, very gourmand. So it's an oud gourmand, I would say, but just be warned with this one, it could get funky with the oud. I don't find it to be, you know, on the animalic side, but those of you that are not very experienced with the oud note, uh, you might, you know, find us to be a bit overwhelming with its uh, oudy smell. But I, I quite like this one. I, I think they did a great job uh, with it, kind of a, a reminder of uh, Wajan, Ambre Narguile, and fragrances like that with this intense oud and leather combo. So this is Swiss Arabian Shagaf Oud Azrak. Let me know if you've sampled that one. So this next one, I actually did a full review of uh, recently and also spoke about it as a short video here on this channel. And finally, they have now brought this fragrance over to FragranceNet. And again, 100 ml for 30 bucks, totally worth it. A lot of these fragrances I have links to in the info box. You can buy them, by the way. But this is Nikos Parfums Sculpture Parfum. Sculpture for Men Parfum. 100 ml, 30 bucks. Check it out. It's basically a more intense take on the original in that kind of collection of fragrances that are similar to um, Minotaur from uh, the house of uh, Paloma Picasso. Even the original... Roma Womo uh, by Laura Biagiotti was kind of similar in the ballpark as well. So if you like these kind of fragrances, you definitely want to get your nose on this parfum edition of the original sculpture, which again, if you're also a fan of that and you haven't gotten your nose on this, now you can get it for about 30 bucks. So it's basically kind of like a fresh amber with tonka beans, precious amber, bergamot, bourbon vanilla, orange flowers, lily of the valley, lavender, coriander, geranium. And this particular style was very, very popular in the early 90s. Again, there were like three different fragrances that were kind of similar, created by, this was originally created by Michelle Almerac, I believe. I think this version is uh, Alienor Massenet. But really love that idea of this very, very fresh and kind of a sweet, lightly fruity amber with aromatics and, um, you know, spices thrown in. Really gorgeous. And again, I bought this for a little more than 30 bucks. I can't remember exactly now. Maybe it was around 30. And I think 100 ml, 30 bucks is totally worth it. Get it before they run out because they do run out of fragrances once in a while. And uh, you want to make sure you get your bottle for 30 bucks before the prices go up. Moving on to the house of Karl Lagerfeld. It's Boise de Yuzu, this one right here. So this to me is a Yuzu focused fragrance that also is kind of reminiscent to something like L'Odyssee by Issey Miyake. 100 ml for 25 bucks. Yuzu, ginger, bergamot, grapefruit, mandarin, oak moss, papyrus, mint, rosemary, nutmeg. For me, there's a screechy quality about this one. Very woody, screechy with all the citruses and kind of hints at also something like Hachivat from Nishane, but in more of a Lodise kind of uh, Isemiyaki direction, if that makes sense. But it's a nice combination of spices, citruses, both the yuzu, grapefruit, and uh, the ginger has a zingy quality. And then you've got, you know, additional citruses and woods thrown in as well. Simple to wear, a bit screechy, reminds me of Lodise combined with Hachivat from Nishane. And if you like that sort of thing, definitely worth it for 25 bucks, 100 ml. So that is Karl Lagerfeld, Bois de Yuzu. And moving on to the House of Egner, Etienne Egner. It's number one oud, this one right here. Uh, this is... Um, selling for about 45 bucks for 100 ml and it's kind of like that combination of oud and rose a bit sweetened up with kind of a vanillic touch in here it does kind of remind me a little bit of uh, oud satin mood from the house of maison francis kirkjan but there's a faintness about this one it's not super potent in that it can make it for it you know an easier wear but still, I think it's a great combination of oud and rose. There's cashmere, leather, saffron, violet, jasmine, cinnamon, nutmeg, coriander, and cloves. So it's been sweetened up and it's easier to wear oud and rose together. Sometimes it could be a bit overwhelming. The oud can be a bit challenging for some folks. And I think that sweetness 
that reminder of oot satin mood uh, is uh, kind of making it a little bit easier to wear an oud rose combo. So I think it's de definitely worth checking out, especially if you've been wanting a bottle of oud satin mood and it's too expensive. This can be a great alternative for it. So it's Egner number one oud. And uh, that is uh, awesome to check that out. We've got two more left, but the next fragrance is Angel Schlesser's Sensual Patchouli, this one right here. I actually did a video on three fragrances from this house. My favorite is, well, they were pretty good. Both the, the, the leather and the patchouli were really good. I'm highlighting the patchouli here because I fi find that it's very easy to wear, especially if you like patchouli. You can wear this day in and day out. It's a, a kind of fresh, not necessarily the chocolate or chocolate cakey patchouli, more aromatic and spicy, a bit green. Hey, the color is green right here, but it features patchouli, black pepper, and jasmine. So you've got some floral touches in there, beautiful jasmine. It doesn't get indolic or anything. There's definitely the presence of the white floral touch in here, but you know, we're talking about patchouli here. It takes over. It's all about patchouli, spices, and jasmine. It's really great. I think it's not super potent, but I really like the smell. And it could be an everyday fragrance for the patchouli lover that won't overwhelm a lot of, uh, you know, your wearing of the fragrance because it's not necessarily beastly. So it could be a bit um, subdued, but still patchouli tends to have big sillage and things like that. But with this one, I can totally wear it day in and day out and smell great if I was on a budget. So it's 100 ml for 48 bucks. Definitely worth it, I think. That is Angel Schlesser's Sensual Patchouli. But you know, after I did my video on the three fragrances from that line, that collection, they all sold out, but FragranceNet has brought them back. So you should definitely check those out. And uh, last but not least, we're talking about Coach's Green in EDT. This one right here, you can get it for 100 ml, 60 bucks. So this one's a bit higher than everything else. It's gotten low, but I discovered this recently. I thought to myself, wow, that's a modern take on a kind of a classic men's aromatic, spicy, almost fougere-like fragrance. That's definitely pretty solid. Not anything totally original, but I like what they've done here, throwing in kiwi to give you a fruitiness, but not necessarily uber fruity to kind of a maybe masculine barbershoppy kind of aromatic fragrance. But it has kiwi, rosemary, bergamot, geranium, cedar, moss. So it's very aromatic. It's herbal. It's spicy. And also, you know, there's citrusy touches in here and woods and moss comes in as well. And the kiwi in here, I think that's why they're calling it green the kiwi and the rosemary, bergamot, all these kind of greenish kind of notes. I don't think it's necessarily of uber, like a fruitiness. Like it's not, let's say for example, it's not like berries or something like that where it comes off really, really like fruity, but there's a fruitiness here. It's almost nondescript, kind of like pineapple, I would say, but not as tart, a bit sweeter, but definitely pretty solid. We're not breaking any new ground here, but I think Coach did a great job for making something totally different than other men's fragrances that smell very, very similar. Pretty original, uh, and I think totally worth it for 100 ml, 60 bucks. If you can get it for less, even better. But this is Coach Green and EDT. And that's the last fragrance I'm talking about today for you guys. Let me know your thoughts on these fragrances. Do you enjoy them? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Do you not buy budget fragrances? Let me know. Put a comment down below so I can find out. And also, recommend some other fragrances that I should look into that are budget, that are great smelling. I'd like to find out. Either way, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.